Hi guys! Today we're going to do a science experiment and show about how he travels. First, here are the things we need. Two jars, one filled with hot water and the other one filled with cold water. Red and blue food coloring. A stick for mixing the food coloring and water and a card either made up cardboard or plastic or just like the playing cards here that I was using. Then we're going to put some food coloring. We're going to put the blue food coloring on the cold water. Okay. Then you have to steer the food coloring so we can mix it on the water. For the red food coloring, we're going to put it on the warm water. Now, we're going to put this card here on the top of our cold water. Then, we're going to put it here on the top of our warm water. The next, we're going to remove this card here. <laughs> Turn all black. Okay, then maybe I guess we have to wait. So wait, like, I guess I wonder if we had to wait until Oh, we have to wait for this. Or uh, maybe I think I just I think it just mixed instead. And the reason why this happens is because we put the cold water on the top and the hot water on the bottom. So that's why they mix. So Later, we're going to try it again, but in reverse. The warm water will going to be in the top, and the cold water is going to be on the bottom. Now, we're going to do this thing in reverse. Before, we had tried to put the cold water on the top of the warm water. Now, we're going to put the warm water on the top of the cold water. And since I couldn't do it because the hot water is very dangerous and I might spill it, then I asked my mom to do it. And probably if you want to, to do this experiment like this, then you'll have to ask your parent or guardian or elderly brother or sister or cousins or anybody that, that can help you with it because... Hot water is very dangerous and it can cause some nasty burns. 
So I guess safety first. Then we're gonna put the card in the top of the hot water and then lift it up there and right there in the cold water. Here's an extra one. I can tell about how this thing, uh, how the card can still go on this thing. And the end of the video. Okay, then you have to carefully remove the card and this is the time when it's super cool. See? The hot water and the cold water doesn't mix. I can explain about how this thing happens. It is because that hot water is denser than cold water. Well, just like how hot air is more denser than cold air. And this is also a reason about how underwater waterfalls can, can happen and also how it works and it's probably amazing that it doesn't mix at all and here's another extra one here the reason um why the card stayed on the jar when my mother lifted it is is because of the air when my mother already put the card there it still hasn't sticked on it but when my mother put it on the other one, all the water goes on the bottom while the air goes at the top. So it creates like some kind of um, a bit of a powerful suction, which prevents the card from falling off and spilling the water all over the place. And this is about this video. And, and there are going to be other more science experiments that we are going to be doing in the future. And, and hope you learned something for today, and bye!